Good evening. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Lynn and welcome to my channel for the love of sense. So if you like fragrances or perfumes, please consider subscribing to my channel as my channel is all about perfumes and fragrances. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well to inform you of future videos. So today I'm going to show you my Barberry collection. I have 12 bottles and I condense them all into one video. So I include all the Barberry collections. I have done this video. This will be the third time I'm doing this. The first one I did four days ago and I accidentally deleted it. Then I also did it again yesterday and I bought a new uh, microphone like wireless and I used this and I've been talking and talking and talking for about 30 minutes and when I was about to delete the uh, to edit it I found out that my microphone turned off in the middle of the video so there was no sound from the 18 minute mark so I I deleted that video too so this will be my third time hopefully this will be good so let's start so this video is requested by uh, one or two of my subscribers and they said to review Barberry perfumes, especially the Barberry blush. So let's start. So I'll start with the original one. This is the Barberry Women and this was launched in 1995 and this is considered as a floral fruity perfume. Um, most of the Barberry perfumes are in the fruity category because they like to put fruit scent in their in their in their juice. So the main notes here are peach, apricot, pear, black currant, green apple. It also has jasmine and base of vanilla and musk. This is this was launched in 1995, but there was nothing vintage in it. It is very fresh, very fruity with some florals and a little bit powdery um, I don't smell any vintage vibe it has moderate projection and it lasts two to three hours so the only my only problems with Barberry in general is the projection these perfumes this house doesn't last on my skin and in my clothes so this one is only two to three hours most of them that's basically the amount of longevity you will get except for a few one which I will mention later on. Um, I would also rate them from 0 to 10. And for me this will be a 7 out of 10. So a lot of people says that the vintage one is much better in, in performance than the newer bottles. So I, I got this from a fellow fraghead and I didn't check... Uh, you know how, how old is the bottle but most probably this is a newer bottle because it doesn't last on my skin so this is probably in the last two to three years because the performance is is poor so that's the my barberry women so it's a floral fruity light perfume then we go to the the body collection so i have three so i have the the bar this is the 60 ml and these two are the uh, 35 ml so it comes with this bottle so it's a long skinny bottle and it, it's made of glass but the cup is plastic but it has weight on it it's quite heavy and it looks classy you will think that the smell the smell is really good the quality is good but this is not an expensive perfume you can get this for 30 dollars or more I think I get this for 30 30 I get this for about $50 it's not expensive so let's start with the Barberry body you perfume intense so the, the the intense version is considered as a cheaper floor fruity and this was launched in 2011 and the notes are peach warm warm wood fresh rose iris sandalwood vanilla musk and amber so all of this has peach in the note but this one is the most prominent the prominent note here is peach 
a little bit of the rose and the and the, and the iris some florals but this is a peach dominant perfume now i i smell some bitterness in this or metallic uh, smell which i don't know where where it's coming from but when i research the notes the warm wood i found out that it's kind of a a vegetation or a leaf or a plant that gives off a bitter taste so a bitter smell so that's where i'm getting the bitter smell the bitter scent is from the warm wood so this is a a, a very a light fresh fruity perfume with a woody dry down the silage is moderate and it lasts a little bit better than the the barberry women so this will last three to four hours on me it's it's a nice scent but as i said it's nothing groundbreaking it's it's a an, an a mass appealing scent or a non-offensive scent and i would rate this as eight out of ten now we go to the next one which is the barberry body it's the ud toilet i don't have the ud perfume um I, I only have the ud toilet so this is a 35 ml and this is also same category as a cheaper fruity perfume was launched in 2012 so basically they have the same notes except they added green apple and tea in this so instead of the peach being a dominant note which i getting in the intense this i getting the tea with a light it's it's lighter because of the green apple but the tea is the most dominant here so the tea the wormwood is also there so there's still the bitter scent and it's also light lighter than the the intense the projection is moderate and this is a, a two to three hours longevity so it's, it's less than the intense and i would rank i would rate this as a 6.5 over 10 basically because it's too light and the performance is is so bad so that's the uni toilet now we go to the barber body it's also a uni toilet uh, version so it's it, it's the same as that except that the juice is lighter pink and um let me spray it so this is also uh, same category shipper fruity was launched in 2013 they have the same they these have the same notes as the first two except that they added lemon so because of the lemon this is a uh, citrusy citrusy than the other two warm wood is also there so there's still the bitter bitter scent and uh, the Projection in silage is also moderate. Longevity is two to three hours. So this is a citrus version of the body. So these these three they all smell similar. So I don't think you need to get all of them. It's redundant in my opinion. You just need one, the barberry body, and I suggest getting the you did uh, perfume the intense version because it is stronger than the other two. And it lasts more than, you know, it, it lasts you at least one hour more. So this scent is very good for uh, work workplace. If you work in a healthcare setting, so this is a safe perfume to wear because it's very light. It's non-offensive and um, you will not offend your patient. So if you are a nurse, a doctor, or a healthcare aide, you can use this perfume. So... We'll go to the uh, the Barberry Brit. So the Barberry Brit comes in this bottle. So it's uh, like a rectangle bottle. And I have two. I have the, the original and I have the rhythm, Barberry Brit rhythm. So let's start with the original, the Barberry Brit. So this is considered as a floral fruity and was launched in 2003. So the main notes is, um, are almond, lime, and pear. And heart of candied almond sugar and filmy base notes of tonka bean amber and mahogany so this is quite different from the first 
few perfumes I have shown you because it has a gourmand quality. It has almond and sugar. So actually, the first thing that you can smell is the almond followed by the sugar. So this is not too much fruits, but it's more almond, um, citrusy because of the lime, and the sugar, sweet because of the sugar. And the tonka bean, it has tonka bean. It has a little bit of gourmand qualities. This is also good. The silage is better compared to the, the body collection. And the longevity is about 3 to 4 hours. So this is a light citrusy almond with a slight sweetness in it. A little bit spicy too. So it's, it's, it's actually very good. It's actually good. So this one I would rate as 8 out of 10. So then the, the next one will be the Rhythm. So the Barbary Rhythm is considered as a floral woody mask and was launched in uh, 2014. So this is also quite different from the uh, most of the Barbary line because it's uh, very um, woody and musky and very powdery. So the main notes are lavender, it has pink pepper, neroli. And it has uh, iris, blackberry leaf, orange blossom. It has woodsy notes, vetiver, and cedar. So this is basically a musky and powdery perfume with some, yeah, a little bit aromatic because of the lavender. So this, this is very well blended. Actually, you cannot tell the notes, you, um, a lot of notes, but you cannot distinguish all of them because this is well blended. Uh, but the only uh, the, the prominent notes I can smell is the lavender and the iris. If you like those powdery scents, if you like lipsticky, light lipsticky scent, then you will probably like this. I like this because I like those kind of uh, note structure. So with that, I would rate this as 8.5 out of 10. Longevity is about 3 to 4 hours and moderate projection. Or once you overspray this, it will last you and people can smell you up to 6 feet and it will last 3 to 4 hours. Definitely with all, with all the Barberry perfumes, you have to respray once or twice a day. So with me, what I usually do yeah, when I arrive in my work, I put my perfume, whatever I'm bringing that day, maybe one or two bottles, I put them in my table so that I can respray them all the time so if i'm bringing a barberry perfumes so i would respray once twice every hour actually every two hours i have to spray it because i want to have that very good scent bubble around me so that's barberry rhythm now we go to the barberry london so the barberry london is the one that has the fabric and i have only the 30 ml so this is 100 ml okay both of these are 100 ml they're not expensive you can get this in discounters for 35 up to 70 dollars each now this one the barberry london's 30 ml i got this for about 30 dollars and this is considered as a floral fragrance was launched in 2006 and the perfumer is dominic Ropion, so one of the prominent perfumers and and this, this has the notes of a honeysuckle, rose, jasmine, tiari flower, peony, clementine, moss, sandalwood, and patchouli. So this is considered as a floral, but this is not heavy florals. It has no vintage vibe and it's not headache inducing because this is light florals. It's quite nice. It's very pleasant. So it will not give you any headache. So this is a very nice floral. I actually like this. So I, you, uh, if you overspray it, it will give you a very nice projection. And it lasts you 3 to 4 hours. So when I use this, I still spray it every 3 hours. Then most probably I can spray 3 times a day. And then it will give me a very good uh, scent bubble around me. I can smell myself. And I also get um, compliments from this. So I would rate this as 8 out of 10. Now we go to the hair collection, the Barberry hair. So I have three. I have three. So these are the, the 100 ml and this is the 50 ml. So let's start with the original which is 
Barberry Hair. So Barberry Hair is a floral fruity gourmand category. It was launched in 2018. Perfumer is Francis Kirk Jan. So maybe that's why it was uh, compared to Baccarat Rouge 540 because they have the same perfumer. But definitely they're not a clone. They're not a dupe. They're not similar. Not similar at all. The main notes in, in this uh, are strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, blackcurrant, mandarin orange, um, lemon, violet, and jasmine. And it has a base of moss, vanilla, cashmere, and body notes, oak moss, amber, patchouli, a whole bunch of notes. But basically, it just smells like a vanilla, um, like a strawberry and vanilla cream. It's a very sweet strawberry sweet but not cloyingly sweet just enough sweetness and um it's very um actually this is my favorite of all the barberry perfumes it's 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 strong compared to the other one and it has a moderate to strong projection longevity is about three to four hours so i have wear this and i have you know i have been um, spraying it every three hours and I will get compliments people whenever they come to my room they will always ask me is is it the room that smells good or it's you so I have to tell them it's both because <laughs> I like to spray my perfume on, on my room as well so this is quite nice I would recommend you to to try it if you like strawberry sweet perfumes so this one I would rate as 9 out of 10 the next one is the Barberry uh, Herb Blossom. So same perfumer, Francis Kirk Jan. This is considered as a floral fruity and uh, perfumer uh, 2019. It was not 2019, perfumer Francis Kirk Jan. This time the notes are peony and plum blossom. Mass sandalwood. Uh, mass and sandalwood. So it's a few notes compared to the original. But this is, is an orange scent the prominent notes is orange it has sorry i forgot the top notes are mandarin orange pink pepper heart notes peony and plum blossom uh, base notes musk and sandalwood so the the prominent notes here is orange it's like an orange and has a musky dry down so it's an orange floral musky scent and it has a moderate uh, projection Longevity is less than the original. It's only two to three hours. So this is also the, the perfume I use and I spray it every two hours because this just doesn't last. But it's a good scent. All of these are good scent. As I said, my only problem is the longevity. And then the last one is the Barberry Hair London Dream. So this was a different perfume. It's not Francis Christian. And it's considered as a floral, floral fragrance. was launched 2020. It has the notes of lemon and ginger, peony and rose, musk and amber. So this is a very spicy, citrusy, and musky perfume. It's spicy because of the ginger, um, citrusy to lemon, and musky because of the musk, musky dry down. It's also nice, but same problem uh moderate projection and uh two to three hours in longevity so i would rate this a 7.5 i forgot to tell you this will be eight out of ten this is 7.5 out of ten so mind you guys that my skin is dry so it eats all the perfumes i put so i will always put a lot of effort to make my perfume last i usually moisturize myself layer i put lotion or or do a lot of things um, um always make sure that i've used lotion before i put my perfume because i have a problem with perfume staying on me staying longer than me so if i say it lasts me for two to three hours it could last um, it, it could be um, more than that for you, it depends on your body chemistry. If you have an oily skin, I notice if you have oily skin, uh, basically the perfume will last longer on you compared to somebody who has dry skin like me. So as I said, this is 7.5 out of 10. 
and then we go to her um the blush my barberry blush so out of all the barberry the, the my my barberry um, collection it comes in this bottle and with this cup this is most usually the most expensive collection i don't see um uh, anything less than 100 for this especially the my barberry perfume and the my barberry black and my barberry elixir so this has the original my barberry it has my barberry my barberry black my barberry perfume my bar my barberry elixir and this one my barberry blush so out of all that i only have the blush because i couldn't find the rest it's so hard to find especially the elixir why because this was created by francis Craig john so there's a hype around this perfume so um the demand is high the hype is there so it's hard to find and if you find it it will be for a ridiculous price which i'm not willing to pay so that's why i only have the blush so the blush is uh, considered as a floral fragrance and, and was launched in 2017 so the notes are pomegranate and lemon green apple rose rose petals geranium wisteria and jasmine so i don't know why they categorize this as for floral because when you look at the notes it's not a heavily floral perfume and the smell is not actually florals i get a lot of uh, rose and then the lemon and the pomegranate so this for me is not really a floral perfume in for me it's actually another fruity floral fresh category it's it's so nice a lot of people love this actually my co-worker she smells it and she likes it she asked me to buy it for her and i'm planning to give it to her this this uh christmas it's so good it's so good actually it's very good again my problem is the longevity this uh moderate projection and it lasts only three to four hours but i, I like this i would rate this as eight out of uh, eight out of ten then the mar my barberry bit so only have the 30 ml so this was considered as a floral woody moss fragrance was launched in 2008 the perfumer is Dominique Rupion, and the main notes are pink pepper, mandarin orange, bergamot, and cardamom, tea, iris, bellflower, it has moss, vetiver, and cedar. So it's actually also a nice perfume. The tea is the prominent note as well as the pink pepper. A little bit of the cardamom. It, if they included more cardamom, this will be a very good perfume, but the cardamom is barely not very noticeable barely noticeable and also very uh, musky so this is a fresh citrus tea and musky woody scent it also has moderate projection longevity is about two to three hours so this is already discontinued that's why i don't use this that, that much i want to save this and even though this is discontinued you can still find this in the discounters i think you can find it in fragrance net and fragrance buy for still a very good price this one i would rate a 7 out of 10. if the cardamom is more i would rate this as 8 to 8.5 but i barely smell the cardamom so this is 7 out of 10. okay and the last one is the barberry touch so i have the tester but the full presentation bottle it has the wooden cup in here like a dark colored wooden cup of the 100 ml and this is very uh, unique scent very different from the rest of the barberry this is considered as a floral green perfume and it was launched in 1998 it's very old it's like a 24 year old perfume but it has it's nothing vintage in in the smell it's not vintage at all notes are red pepper cassia blackberry cranberry black carrot rose oil and orange it has some florals like lily peony peach tuberose lilip the valley jasmine raspberry cedar oak moss vanilla green almond and tonka bean a lot of notes but basically you can just smell some florals and green it um the green the green notes is actually prominent 
So I can imagine waking up in the morning and somebody cutting the grass. You can smell the freshly cut grass, grass in the morning air. And then there's also flowers blooming on the side. This is how I would describe this. This is very nice. This is another one that I get compliments. I wear this a few days ago. And one of my co-workers approached me and asked me what am I wearing. So I have to show this perfume. And she said she wants to buy it. And I checked Fragrance Buy. It was in a very good price in Fragrance Buy. And uh, she told me to buy it for her. This is so nice. This is also discontinued. So if you guys wants to buy it, get it before it's before it's gone in the market. It's also nice at but the same problem exists. It lasts two hours in me with a moderate projection. So when I was wearing this, I'm spraying it every hour or every two hours. And I don't want to use it that, that much. I want to save it. Okay, this one I will rate as 8.5 out of 10. Okay, so that's it guys. So I finished all my 12 bottles. And let me know what you think about the Barberry Perfume. If you have it, uh, I, I would guess some of you will probably have one. You only have one. You have one or two bottles or maybe more. And if that's the case, do you like it? And if you have a lot, then what's your favorite and what do you think it lasts on you it lasts does it last on your skin i know that when i read the reviews of some people they some of this lasts on them for about five or even eight hours but for me personally it doesn't last on me um, maximum four hours but i still use them and i still like them i would probably declutter all my barberry body and and uh that's it. That's all that I can do. I will declutter. The rest I will keep because I like them. And I would probably buy. I'm still waiting. I'm, I'm, I want to buy the, the intense version of the hair. The Barberry hair intense. And I want to buy the, the black. My Barberry black. And then my Barberry elixir. Uh, that was very hyped by uh, the perfume community because it was done by uh, Kirk John. So that's my wish list and then I will declutter my three barbary body. So that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this will be uploaded soon. Nothing wrong because this is the third, uh, third time I'm doing this. And um, thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.